Dictators can never penetrate the intelligent brain of Gambian youth. Mon mumbe bandla kamu haklo which what ita no la ba o funding kel be ye mun nene niman sakunda koto ye silol mun walang funding kel niman sakunda koto. Wallahi tole man tra jang niman ko kan sayang funding kela. Wato wakam mala ben na niman tong kumal be bisimila la sa fo moli ine mol se kaja. Wah, kau cokol dia ada bolu fangol dah. Alam dia aku netel sila mini boram. Insya Allah, fana ini nabi kaca kuma mui telecat. Ye feral munsoto, ye ilanya tu tak kau mui neti plan sol mui bela ni perlu nekop. Minang aikin nekop demu ya lomko. Ane nama suruh bankokan. Bau siara dia takkan. Ngaku fana jenuh last time. Anala dibitel idonat teleto. Ila level at preparation ya itu ni mula way mula ni apa in konofa. Orang governor ganji ture be fana jai lam be ten tu lah ini lah dibitel. Wadon cedih amu murundi itian kang puru mulia long kau lembah mana organisasi komite la se kaca fundi itu lihat bi baki bawa bi mui itu lela kaca ti ala barak. Abaraka baki honorable babu gay songko yemin fujang kumol seniata. Fabakari kalle chairman national youth council. Welcome to the bantaman. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum. Is to use this opportunity to thank the Bantaba team for inviting us to this forum. Uh, we want to appreciate your position that you felt part of the youths of this country uh, and on whose behalf we are organizing this NECOF that you are part of and you are playing your role today. Thank you very much, Honorable. Thank you. And uh, Mr. Jane. Jane. Um, here with me, like you've said, uh, I am the chairperson of the National Youth Council, and also the chairperson of the National Organizing Committee. Uh, I would like to acknowledge the people that are with me, with your permission. We have the Security Subcommittee, that's where I want to start visibly. The members of the Security Subcommittee are here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I just want to show the national dimension of the committee. Um, you can see the, the two barriers, they are different. The, the police are within, you might not have seen that one. The cultural subcommittee are also present here. <laughs> we also have the food committee. <laughs> food, they are here. Well, accommodation is not here. Accommodation is not here because we are going to Bansang. They are already in Bansang, so they are on their work. So they are not present in the hall. Sports subcommittee is also represented here. Sport is here. Marketing and publicity. They organize this forum for us. They are the ones uh, behind us. First aid. Um, transport and logistics. Okay, this time I'll not forget finance. <laughs> uh, store and supply. The Office of the Care is also present. The Secretariat. Good. So I have not forgotten this time. Eh? All the committees I mentioned. With us too, we have some national youth organizations who are present. The, our brothers from the Gambia Tourist Guards are here. We have our colleagues from the President International Award. They with us. Our colleagues from NAPSA. And a few other organizations, the name I'm not very <laughs> used to. Uh, this is the neck of for us this year. Like he said, it's happened every two years. And my first statement on NECOF is going to be a surprise even to my organizing committee members. That the neck of 2012 will be held in Bansang CRR from the 2nd of January <laughs> to the 9th of January. <laughs> This is a this is the much awaited time, and a lot of people were asking since all these days, 
came out when we go to the radios and TV, I said, when I'm going to announce the date. And the date will, uh, inshallah, be on the second, we will arrive in CRR, and on the third, NACOF will kick off. And by the grace of Allah, we want to close on the 8th so people can go home on the 9th. Ladies and gentlemen, NACOF 2012 has come with a difference. Uh, the difference is that if you're doing something and you're doing it over and over again, John Maxwell said in one of his books, you can have either 25 years of one experience or 25 years of 25 experience. We've been into NACOF and had been into it for a decade, so we don't have an experience, we have decade experience, that's over 10 years of work. So we change the format, we add up new things, and that's what we are presenting to you. The neck of this year will include sports, like it's been mentioned already. Maybe the sport committee will direct on that when I hand over the baton to them. Um, it will also include conference. It's going to be a five days thing. Uh, we're expecting people from outside the Gambian border. And it's also going to include culture. Uh, the cultural team are also within. And uh, we will have uh, masquerade dance, drama, and things of that sort. If you don't know what these masquerade are for, please come to the NACOF. If you miss it, you <laughs> may not know some of them, like the Jamba Jabalis, the Kunyaji Kankurangs, and the Sisen Dinyako. Or, uh, all of them will have them there. <laughs> and we will not only come to present the masquerade, but we'll also try to give you the background of those masquerades and um, what are their significance in society. We will also be uh, doing uh, an exhibition this year where young people or young entrepreneurs will be allowed space to showcase their talent, what they do, and those who have products can even put those products in the market and let them go. Well, CD have said before that NACOF um, has been here for a decade, but it was called then the Youth Week. So then it goes beyond a decade, even though we call it the 10th National Youth Conference and Festival because it happened every two years. My first interaction in, with NACOF, I think, is 1992-93. Uh, that was called Youth Week then in Mansakongo, and I was head of logistics and operation for the Red Cross. That was my first interaction, and I had been with them up to where we are today. In 1999, the name changed to NACOF. Um, that was the one who was formally organized under, this, under the Second Republic. It was held at the Independent Stadium, and I still remember uh, Honorable Yanko Bature was the minister that led us into the program and was supported by Mayor Lai Conte of Carnifin Municipality. At that NACOF, we argued that the then national youth policy of 1989 to 1999 has expired and needed review. In the review process, the new national youth policy came into play, which um, requested the establishment of a national youth council because we had what we call the National Youth Bureau. In 2000, a bill was presented to the National Assembly. Um, this was uh, passed mm -hmm. and it was sent to the president and acceded to by His Excellency, our president, um, Yahya A.J. Jami, professor. It then we call it the Millennium Gift of the President to the Youth of the Gambia. That was how we titled it, the Millennium Gift of the President to the Youth of the Gambia. And indeed, it was a gift. Indeed, it comes in the beginning of the millennium. And indeed, we all appreciate that the coming of the National Youth Council had brought about, if, if you like, revolutionization in youth work in this country. Because it, it brought about professionalizing youth work it brought about building career for young people who want to be into youth work, shifting from the ad hoc system of, of, of youth work. This was vividly supported by the Commonwealth Youth Program. Uh, Marcel is a co course member to where we are today. The NACOF moves from that end to Bansan, sorry, to Basse, URR in 2001. Under the leadership of the chairperson of the National Youth Council, which was Abdul Salam Jame. Abdul Salam was the first chairperson of the National Youth Council mm -hmm. and was supported by um, Raymond Tilibonko Jiba. Mba um, Amicia, she is one of the first staffs of National Youth Council since inception, <laughs> and she can attest to that. Well, it was in Bansan. 
It was 